Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I got the how to make zero gravity a Roblox video. This video was requested to me by my um, what's the name? My thumbnail maker. Shout out to Mac, that's my boy. He be making my thumbnails. He making all the great thumbnails that be seen. He requested this video, so let's straight into it. Okay, so first things first. So I'm assuming your type of game, you have like an area where like you know, you have a part or parts where like whenever a player enters that area. They then can, you know, like kind of float around in, you know, kind of zero gravity type of thing. So we're going to kind of create the illusion as if like there are certain areas that on that only have zero gravity. So let's create a part. We're going to scale the part, right? We're just going to make it like a like just well, a big part pretty much, right? Yeah, like something like this, right? And then we could call this, uh, call this zone. Yeah, zone, right? Then of course make sure the part is anchored, set can collide to false, but make sure can touch is enabled. And then we can set the transparency to one, make just pretty much make it invisible. Right? But then at the same time, but then at the same time, I mean I kind of really I kind of need to see it to test. So it says like 0 0.7, so we can like, you know, it's pretty much invisible. Yeah, it's pretty much invisible, but but at the same time not completely. Let's head on over to starter player and insert a local script because we want this change to only affect the player, to you know, only affect the one player that's entered the zone. And if you don't know, gravity is a property of workspace, which means to change it just for that one player, you'd have to use a local script. So by default, gravity is 196.2, right? So let's remember that starting value. We can call this gravity script, right? We can delete print hello world and we can make a variable for the part local zone is equal to game dot workspace dot part or sorry not part dot zone right then simply we're going to make two functions for when the player touches the zone or enters the zone i should say and when they stop touching the zone or leave the zone so zone dot touched connect function then we could say hit in parentheses enter if hit dot parent find first child humanoid enter and then we can get we can change the uh workspace is gravity so game the workspace that gravity is equal to let's just say one let's just set it you guys you guys can set the uh value to whatever it is you want i'm just gonna set it to one for the video right and then i'm going to copy and paste this so you can just select it press copy or control c then skip two lines press control v or paste then we're going to change this to touch ended. Then I'm going to set it back to the default. Once again, you guys can set this to whatever it is you want. I'm just going to set it to 196.2 because that's the default for me. So yeah, local script and starter player scripts, or you can put it in starter character scripts. Actually, yeah, never mind. I would recommend you put it in starter character scripts since this involves your character. Might as well wait for the character to you know load in, ensure that the character has loaded in and stuff. Now, just a little, yeah, yeah, just a little tip. So say if like, you have a model, right? Like you like you have a group together. You have multiple parts grouped together. Like let me just clone these together. I mean clone this, right? And then say you have like multiple and you want all of them to do the same thing, right? So with zone so what you could do is with zone, you could do like you could say four i comma v in pairs, then reference the model model name, right? You could do get oh it's because it's the same name. Let me do game dot workspace dot model. You can do game dot workspace dot model get children right, and then simply you would make these functions inside of this for v in pairs loop. You would simply do v. You simply just do v dot touched connect function right. Then you would say hit, and then you would also have the other function, and then boom, that's simple. So that's how you just do it like that, just in case you guys were wondering if you had like a model, model with parts. Let me just undo all of that, right? We can go ahead and test this. Let me click play, right? And then let me, as you guys can see, normal gravity here. If I enter the part, however, and then I push and I jump, boom. As you guys can see, I, you know, gravity changes to one. Then as I go up, you guys can clearly see my player goes, <laughs> goes right back down. So yeah, and that's, how you, that's how you do that. So yeah, that's how you make zero gravity. Once again, shout out to my boy Mac. He makes the he makes the uh, amazing thumbnails for my videos and stuff. Shout out to him. I really appreciate my boy. If you guys want to hit him up for commissions or whatever, 
his discord tag is in the description thank you guys for watching if you guys are interested in joining my discord server or roblox scoop the links can be found in the description and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video